Hello, I'm Julie Garnier from Rustic Cottage Co. And welcome to my channel. I am located in the northwest of England, but I have traveled quite a lot around the different countries, US, um, Canada, and Mexico, mostly, but also around the Caribbean. Through my journey of travel, I've learned to love the different styles of decoration, home decor, and furniture, and started my own business creating and selling for myself. My channel here on YouTube, Rustic Cottage Co, is now doing so well, I am happy to create every week a different video to show you furniture, home decor of different styles, shabby chic, rustic, primitive, shabby chic, farmhouse, lots of different ideas. I love them all. I am equally all and differently. I hope I inspire you to create too and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. I'm Julie from Rustic Cottage Co. Well hello and welcome to this week's video and I'm doing some crafting today. Yeah, it's been a little while. It feels like I've done any crafts so I'm actually excited to get going on this and I'm starting to do Christmas stuff which <laughs> I'm usually way ahead doing lots of Christmas stuff because I sell um, but uh, this year because I have moved countries and come back to here into the UK I'm not selling right now I'm just doing for myself and uh, family friends that kind of thing I'm not doing in lots masses of stuff or anything for a shop so I can kind of do it a little bit later but I think I'm going to get started this week on a few little craft ideas for Christmas so that you can order the stuff, get have some ideas, some inspiration to do your own and be able to have time to pick up what you need and also if you are selling it might give you ideas and you can quickly put it together and be able to put it out on your booth or in your store or wherever you sell whether it's online so let's get going on crafting for Christmas. So I went out today, I have a day off, and I went out and it's beautiful out. It was sunny, dry, no wind, which in this area there's been a little bit of wind lately and so breezy. Um, I didn't even need a jacket, but I went into town and um, it's Tuesday, so market day. There is a market every day in Chorley in town, except Wednesdays. But on Tuesdays, it's an especially big one, always has been tradition for since before I was born, every Tuesday, huge market. And being that it's, spring, um, I was going to say spring break, <laughs> um, half term here, which means every six weeks through um, the school year, the kids get a week off or two weeks off. So they, September, they go back to school. Then they do six weeks of school and then they get a week off for half term. Then they do another six weeks approximately and then they get two weeks off, which actually would be Christmas. And then again, six weeks, they get a half term, which would be around kind of Easter time-ish, spring break time-ish. And then they do another six weeks and then they're off for um I think Christmas, it works that way anyway, I'm not quite sure exactly, I don't remember, it's been a long time since I was in school, especially this um, this country, but um, right now they're on half term, so the town was packed, the market was packed, but I went to Charlie Market and I picked up some items. Now I managed to pick up this little item here, which I think is cute but i'm just going to do a little extra to it just to tone it down of the glittery and to just make it a little bit more my style so i'm going to have some fun with that and then also i picked up some really cheap greenery stuff little christmasy things so there's that one here and then this one and then this one here now i'm going to put my added little touches to each of these as I say so that it le looks less cheap and I picked up these here this one and there's two of those getting glitter everywhere anyway um as I say I'm just going to add my own little twist to all of this and uh, just put it together and make it my own 
Now, what I'm going to be doing this week is um, some candle holders. So I picked up this one here and then picked up these two smaller ones. And we're going to make them into kind of Christmassy candle holders. So I'm going to take apart all the greenery that I need, split it up a little bit and have some fun with it. So first I'm going to actually tone down some of this glittery and make it a little bit more my style. This one's fine, I'll be using this one after, but there are some things that are just not particularly my, as I say, my style. So I'm just going to use a small little brush and my white chalk paint and just first on this one here which I picked up as I say it's so cute so glittery so nice I'm just going to go over a little bit just not fully but just covering some of the features of the eyes and the nose just little because they're just too perfect just too um fracture fracture factory looking um here on the bird i'm definitely gonna just make it look like he's got a little bit of snow on him and just tone him down completely you know coloring i don't need the orange in my decor so if you find something cheap or nice that you like the basic shape too, but it's a little either not your colouring or it's not your styling, just pick it up and then just tone down what you're not quite happy about. As I say, these antlers on here are definitely too silvery looking for me to... So I'm just going to put some white over them and just tone them down as well. And then just leave it to dry. As I say, it just makes it less sparkly, less cheap and less dollar store looking. And because you're doing white, it just makes it look as though there's just snow that's dropped on them anyway. that I think is good. I'm just going to put a little just all over just to tone some of this glitter in some of the larger areas. Once I get going I'll probably end up painting the whole thing but I'm hoping not to. As I say it's just toning it down rather than removing it all together and it just if you splotch it on like I'm doing that's my technical word for it splotch it on it actually just takes away some of the sparkle and it just looks like um, snow has fallen really is what it looks like it's got just that added snow layer on top If you're being um, very uh, precise with your paint and everything else, then pour a little paint out into uh, a container just in case you don't want to get glitter into your actual paint. But that's a little bit more rustic, more snowy than glittery that it was before. So that's more my style. So that's that done let it dry to one side and I'm going to do literally the same on these two so I'm just going to get a little bit of paint and just go over these greenery pieces just getting it more white and less glittery And just dabbing it on. I 
thicker in places, thinner in other places, and making it a little bit more kind of white than green is what I'm trying to achieve and getting rid of a little bit of the actual glitter on it. And just put it to one side. I've got a few of these to do, so I won't do them all. Of you watching, it just gets repetitive, but you can see literally just splotching on some white to be able to have it a little bit more subtle than glittery. Now, also, I'm going to do the same with this one here and just. Do the same, just dabbing on some white. And it just subtles it down just a little bit. All right, we'll let those dry and we'll get on to the next part. Okay, so for my next part, what I've picked up is this bath salts. Now, in Canada and the US, we call them Epsom salts. This in here, this is bath salts. So just get the natural, regular mineral salts, bath salts, Epsom salts, whatever they're called in your country, you can usually get them from a pharmacy um, chemist, um, any kind of um, store that sells anything for the bath or shower area. So they're literally just white bath salts. I'm going to put some in this container here just so that you can see and the best thing to do is have a plate or something that you can just pour them into and keep everything in one place so it doesn't go everywhere or else you're going to be sweeping, wiping, cleaning and vacuuming for days <laughs> on this. Now, also I had to pick up some glue. We're just using basically Elmer's white glue. Um, not sure why, but this was actually quite expensive in this country. Again, don't know why, but there you go. So I'm gonna start off with the small little candle holder here. Oh, and I'm going to put some glue around the bottom part of the candle holder. Now I got this type so I can have a little bit more control of how much glue I put on and just do an area at a time. And as you can see, I'm just putting some glue just in an area and then I'm going to pour on top the Epsom salts. And then you just keep going around the bottom, going in different kind of levels to just to make it look like snow along the bottom. Just see if there's any areas that you could do a bit more. I find a little bit of a gap here, so I'm just going to do a little bit more. And as you can see, this is why you kind of need a little plate or something just to pour it into. And just let that kind of go from one side, just dry a little. And I'm going to do that on the bottom of the other small one. And I'm going to show you again on the bigger one. Just use your glue to go along the bottom and then come up a little bit like snow. Just do an area at a time and give it a chance to dry when you've done it. Now 
And I'm going to go all the way around that one as well. Now when you've done that, we're going to be doing the top part. So we're going to be doing the edge of the top. Now you're going to be doing along the edge and coming down quite long ways, some of it, shorter other parts, a little at a time. And then get your Epsom salts and just pull it on. And then shake it off and do some more. And we're going to be doing the edges all around on the tops and the bottoms of all of these. So for the larger um, candle holder, I'm going to be just using my brush to uh, just be a, a little quicker and just go around the top and have a little bit more surface area done with a small brush um, rather than just a small end of the glue top. And uh, just carry on going as I am for them and putting the glue on the Epsom salt or bath salt, whatever you'd like to call them over and then let them dry. So now I can just put the greenery in place. If I had my glue gun, which I do not, that's one thing I do have to order and purchase probably in the new year. But right now I'm just placing in different parts. The two small ones I'm putting in a little tiny circle greenery and then adding some extra. And I'm just gonna be tying into place or wrapping most of this greenery is on wire so I can wrap it around itself and each other and on the bigger one I will be putting a ribbon and tie a bow around the middle and putting the greenery tucked inside it and to finish them off nicely and I think they came out cute pretty um, just looking nice for Christmas and uh, putting you know, lighting the candles, maybe on Christmas Eve, you know, getting ready, wrapping some presents, I think would look really nice. Especially with maybe a mulled wine, mince pie, and any other traditions that you enjoy over Christmas. As I have a small space to uh, decorate, this is ideal for me and I think it looks pretty. I hope you like how I've done this and we'll be doing some more Christmas crafts and different things over the next little while and uh, enjoying some of the inspiration that hopefully this video has given to you. Please give the thumbs up, like, describe and I hope you like how they turned out. What do you think?
Thank you for watching. I'm Julie Garnier from Rustic Cottage Co. Don't forget to subscribe.